hacking attempts have risen sharply in the first half of this year. Phishing, where criminals disguise themselves as legitimate organizations to ask for personal information, is a growing concern. Tan Sehui finds out how businesses can guard against such methods. A physical tuition centre from where some lessons are taught online and soft copy worksheets are distributed to students at home. It's a juxtaposition that has become all too familiar as the world pivoted to cyberspace during the pandemic. For some, the learning curve was steep. There was one online platform that actually, because we were working from home and the tutor was the host, uh, she had a power outage, so I think her internet was disrupted. So actually the hosting rights was transferred to another student and uh, this student actually let curiosity got ahead of himself. Uh, He started kicking out the other students. It may have seemed like simply the actions of a mischievous youngster, but what if the intentions were sinister? It prompted the centre's management to step up cyber defences by installing and updating antivirus software. It says that's about the most it can do without spending more to train users to be more vigilant. The platforms offered certain classroom hours of training, but they're all very templated. The focus is not on cyber security, it's how to use the online platform, but again, how do you react uh, when you have a cyber security uh, situation, for example, that, that is lacking. According to a poll of more than 100 organisations here by cybersecurity firm Sophos, 70% say they've noticed a jump in the number of phishing attacks this year. Another agency, Fortinet, says phishing and botnet attacks are up 300% on year. Criminals often use the information to launch ransomware attacks, locking up an organisation's data and releasing it for an exorbitant fee. Cybersecurity provider Dark Trace says such attacks surged by more than 50% in the first half of this year. They are getting more tenacious, they have more sophisticated technology, and I think it's a matter of time that they will be using tools like natural language processing, and that's where adopting artificial intelligence and autonomous response is a very clever way to solve this problem. AI saved food supplier Poon Huat from an unsavoury experience two years ago after one of its employees clicked on a phishing email. The attackers, when they came in, I think um, it started probably encrypting a few of the files and that's when the cybersecurity solution detected that there was anomalous behaviour, alerted our users, but at the same time immediately stopped the, the activity from spreading. The company now invests a six-figure sum annually in cybersecurity solutions. It simulates cyber attacks to help employees be alert to suspicious emails. And that, according to experts, could well be the difference between boom and bust. The company also recently launched what it calls a new, more secure e-commerce website to keep systems and ultimately deliveries and consumers safe.